I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the Invasive Tree, Tree of Heaven. Alanthus altissima is an introduced tree species that is spread across the United States, and it's considered a noxious weed or an invasive species in North America. This deciduous tree is originally from Asia, and it's also known as Chinese sumac and paradise tree. Tree of Heaven was first introduced into the United States in 1784 in Philadelphia as an ornamental tree. After that initial introduction, it was widely planted in urban areas and has spread into a variety of natural areas throughout the United States. It is a fast-growing, short-lived species living about 30 to 70 years. It is a medium to large tree that grows 60 to 70 feet tall, and it can be confused with black walnut, smooth sumac, and Kentucky coffee tree. This fast-growing hardy tree can establish in the forest and outcompete native trees. It is listed as a severe threat in Kentucky by the Kentucky Exotic Plant Council. Tree Heaven is native to Asia but is widely naturalized throughout the United States into Canada, and it's found in many counties in Kentucky. It grows best in loamy, moist soils but tolerates and is successful in a wide range of soils and moisture regimes. In urban areas, it frequently occupies many unique, untended areas, as you can see in the photo. Tree of Heaven is a prolific seeder and very successful at root sprouting. Additionally, the tree's foliage, foliage has allelopathic effects on more than 35 different tree species. And allelopathy is the biological phenomenon by which an organism produces one or more chemicals that influences the germination, growth, survival, and reproduction of other organisms. And Tree of Heaven is classified as shade intolerant. Tree of Heaven is a deciduous tree with large, alternately pinnately compound leaves. The leaves can be up to three feet long and have 11 to 41 leaflets. And the leaflets tend to have large serrations at the base of the leaflet. Leaflets are green above and green below, and the twigs have an unpleasant odor when they are broken. And fall color is yellowish and not showy. This species is dioecious, meaning a tree will have either male or female flowers, but not both. And the flowers are small, yellow-green in color, and in, they're usually in 6 to 12 inch long racemes, which look like spikes. Male trees produce three to four times more flowers than are usually found on female trees. Male flowers have a very disagreeable odor, and the flowers are pollinated by insects, including bees. The fruit is a twisted samara, or a winged seed, that's about one to one and a half inches long, with the seed in the center of the wing. The samaras are in hanging groups and are greenish to reddish brown, and these clusters of fruits can contain hundreds of seeds. The fruit tends to persist on the tree through winter, but can, seeds can be dispersed any time after October when they start to ripen. The seeds are when dispersed, and the tree is a prolific seeder with most abundant production between 12 and 20 years. The bark is thin, gray to light brown, and many describe the bark on young trees as resembling the skin of a cantaloupe. The bark tends to develop a rough texture and turn darker gray as it ages. Since tree heaven is considered an invasive tree species, if you find it on your property, you will want to take steps to control or remove the tree or trees. And for more control methods, refer to the Kentucky Woodland Magazine, Volume 2, Issue 1, or refer to the Southeast Exotic Pest Plant Council Invasive Plant Manual, which you can find both of those online. Now for a few interesting facts about Tree of Heaven. In China, the Tree of Heaven has a long and rich history. It was mentioned in the oldest extant Chinese dictionary and is listed in many Chinese medical texts for its medicinal qualities. It has been grown extensively both in China and abroad as a host plant for the Alanthus silk moth, which is used in silk production. Alanthus, or Tree of Heaven, was the tree in the novel A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. The scientific name Alanthus is from the Indonesia Alanto, which means Tree of Heaven, and Altissima is from the Latin Altus, which means high, in reference to the height of the tree. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and scout for this invasive tree of heaven.